Hello, I'm Rod Graydon and welcome to Lettered TV. Over the past two years, Lettered Magazine has brought you some great stories about the classic car scene in Australia. But now we bring you up close and personal with the cars, the racing, the club events and the unique characters that get behind these scenes. facilities and definitely a track I want to have a race on myself one day. When's the next event out there? Uh, next event is uh, coming up in August, 9th and 10th. What's it cost people to attend the weekend out there? Uh, well, next one will be uh, $30, that's for the weekend ticket, and I think under 14 is uh, free. Well, there you go. Don't miss the action out there on that weekend. So remember to check the website for Lettered Magazine, find out exactly what's happening at that time. I'm here with Dion Johnson, the owner of the racing room at Brendel. How are you, Dion? Very Welcome well. to Lettered Magazine around the Bowser. Thank you. Mate, I had a walk around here before, just fantastic. Car memorabilia, everything related to a car. How did it all come about? It's a lot of fun. It's, um, I started off as a, as a hobby business. Like Everything that you see and, and have seen is, used to be based around my house. So My wife's now very happy that it's out, um, it's got a, a home. But all the fun things to do with motorsport and cars in general is, is what it's all about. So what can people get when they come down here? Anything and everything. Uh, the only products we sell are products that we have used or, or do use in, in the workshop. Uh, good quality products, brand names, things that people can, can recognise. Um, and products that we know are going to work. Yeah, I see you've mainly got top end products in there, so you cater for European style vehicles and American vehicles. Right. Absolutely. While we can work on, on everything, um, we prefer to, uh, to look after the nicer cars, you know, the Porsches and Ferraris and Audis, that, that sort of thing. Um, quality products just work well with quality cars. I see you've had Corvettes and a few other things through here, is that right? Yeah, well the, the Corvette Club are, are about to have a visit here and, uh, and have a show outside in the car park, but the BMW Club have been here. Um, we expect to have a Ferrari Club pretty soon, but yeah, Alfa Romeo, you name it, they, they all treat us as, as a home. Mate, just looking around the shop, no matter what mark it is, I would certainly be impressed with around here. What plans have you got for the place? The plans are pretty much to carry on as it is now. Um, we've got a few new products coming in, uh, Oakley Racing Division are coming in here, very excited about that. Um, but I'm trying to create a lounge atmosphere as well as a shop at atmosphere. So. Uh, while it is a place to come and buy things, you're welcome to come out and play on the simulator, have a game of pool, just hang out, read a book, watch DVD, whatever you want to do. It's, uh, yeah, it's just a, a nice place to be. So if you've got an interest in exotic motoring, come see the racing room, relax in the round, and catch up with people with similar interests. Absolutely. So there you go. The racing room has everything from the motorsport enthusiast, from the parts to the atmosphere to the enthusiasm of the staff. Check out all the information, www.theracingroom.com.au and it's located at Brendale on the north side of Brisbane. After a chilly night in Warwick, we headed across to Toowoomba the next morning for the David Hack Memorial Classic. This event, hosted by the Rotary Club of Warwick, is held at an airport just west of Toowoomba. It combines a great assortment of vehicles plus aircraft from the past. You're not going to show a photo of that poor old sub. I certainly am. Here it is, Saab 900 Turbo. Yes, the Saab 900 Turbo was donated to the local fire brigade to demonstrate the effective nature of the jaws of life at accident scenes and vehicle recovery. Looked good at the start, but as the photos show, it wasn't that pretty at the end.
We're here at the David Hack Classic at Toowoomba. With me is Colin Schiller. Colin, you've got a very interesting timber looking vehicle here. Yes, it is. It's a 31 Vauxhall VX Cadet. It's got a wooden body on it built by Brian Close down in Brisbane. Modelled after a Weimar Special that used to exist in the early 30s that had a, a steel body but still a boat tail. This is made out of timber, uh, mainly Tassie oak, a bit of black bean in it. But as you can see from the other cars, most people have got steel. So having a bit of timber is different. So where was the vehicle actually designed? Uh, it's an English car. It's a Vauxhall. And this, it was burnt out in a paddock in Bundaberg, and that's where pretty well we started. With there was a chassis and an engine, that was about it. So the rest of it's been built basically by Brian. So it's, a, but yes, it's an English car. And how many of these vehicles would be in Australia? Do you think this be the only one? The only one with this type of body. Uh, most of them have got either a coupe body, and I believe there's one Tourer similar to that Model A. So. Generally, this is the only roadster. There's possibly another Weimar's body one around Wollongong somewhere, but hasn't been seen on the road for many years. It has designs, does look like a boat from different angles. How did that come about? Well, Brian's a boat builder by trade, and having a boat tail body, you might as well have a bit of a, a boat looking car as well. And coming from the, the timber, I mean, we're tempted to put a bit of a propeller on the back of it, um, but you can see there's a, a flare on the, on the back as well, like a, a skim board on a speedboat, and we just wanted something a bit, bit different, so it, it looks nice. Most people use fisheline or tectoline against rust. Do you find that effective against termites? No, I find Mr Sheen very good. <laughs> it's not tech to lay. Mr Sheen is quite good. Termite, I mean Tassie Oak's not too bad, um, but humidity and moisture is the biggest issue. Drying out causes a bit of splitting. There's no splitting in the actual timber laminate, but the splitting of the actual timber boards itself is uh, starting to be an issue. There's half a dozen strips that you'll see they've got a light crack in them, and they'll be hard to fix, but humidity is the worst problem. White ant's not an issue, they can't keep up. Okay. I'm standing here with uh, Graham Allen with his Model A Ford. How are you, Graham? I'm well, thanks, Rod. Could you tell me a little bit about your car, please? Yes, this is an early Model A, built on the 22nd of June, 1928. It's about the last of the first series with the four-wheel handbrake. And how long have you had the vehicle? Uh, 30 years. And you told me before you've done a few interesting trips with it. Uh, yes, the uh, second rally I did with this was to Rally West in uh, Perth in 1979. Have any problems with the vehicle on the trip? Yeah, I did a reproduction fan belt. So stick with the original Ford parts, you don't have a problem, eh? Yeah, that seems to be the case, yeah. And what size motors are in these things? 200.5 uh, cubic inch four cylinder side valve. And she gets along alright? Yeah, it cruises between 45 and 50 mile an hour. And you also mentioned you had a few other vehicles under restoration at the moment. Yes, uh, there's a few other vehicles in lineup. Uh, 36 Lincoln Zephyr, uh, 48 Fiat Topolino, and a bit later a 57 Mercury Colony Park. So you've got everything there other than a classic English vehicle? <laughs> Everything other than an English vehicle, yes. The Lincoln Zephyr, that'd be a fairly unique sort of vehicle, wouldn't it? Uh, yes, uh, the 36 is the first year of the Lincoln Zephyr, which is a V12. Uh, first of the cheaper Lincolns, uh, built to a competition for a Packard 120. And how long before that's on the road, do you think? Oh, it'll be a few years yet. Yeah, a couple of other projects in the way. Oh, we look forward to seeing that. Uh, thanks for talking with us at Letter Magazine. No worries. Thanks, Rod. Well, that wraps up episode one of Letter TV. Hope you enjoyed the viewing. Thanks to our special sponsor for this edition, Dion from the Racing Room at Brendale. For all the action, go to www.letter.com.au or pick up a copy of Letter Magazine. Let it's now available through our website, through a subscription, or ask your car club to subscribe and get the benefits of a group discount.
Thanks for watching. See you on the track.